Alright, well, we're gonna head into the security. Those are your footprints. You made them. <laughs> those? Yeah, those no, are yours. No, those aren't mine. Are you sure? I thought they were. Pretty sure. Okay, well, whatever. So, there's a dead guy. You can hide in those. Well, that'll come in handy. They yeah. lie. So, I don't see any other documents or nothing, and the only thing flashing is the keyboard, so... Oh, and take, yeah, put your camera down. Yep. It forces you to. You're apparently some sort of hacker. Oh! Or they just let the thing up and you're just <laughs> going in normally. Oh, don't you pull that! You son of a bitch! He pulled it. <laughs> We start the generator. But before you do, uh, yeah. Fucking hide. <laughs> I, I hear the guy. He, uh. Yeah. Don't try to fight. Hide in the locker. Oh god. So this is the guy that had been ripping off his face and talking about lizards. That also threw you through the window. So very, very big. Yeah. Yeah, he is. And I don't want to fight that. You can't fight that. You will literally die. But that's like every enemy in this game. You can't fight. You have to run away and hope you lose them and hide somewhere. Oh, I got a note. Big, big fucking guy. guy. <laughs> the big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker, ex-military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. I'm debating whether or not to get out. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to leave at some point. I think he went through that door, so you should be fine. Fucking run. I think it will also let you look behind you. Yeah. Battery's getting low. Yeah, I think it'll start beeping at you and be annoying when it gets really low. There's a document. Pretty sure Big Fuck can't get through here. No, he can't. The MK Ultra CIA Hypnotic Homicide. The MK Ultra program, CIA document number whatever, part one, excerpt two, file. Subject Hypnotic Experimentation and Research, February 10th, 1954. On Wednesday, 10th of February, 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. 1. A post-hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was in enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing uh, this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson, and then proceeded to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the uh, entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. So MK Ultra is actually a real thing that happened. Like you know that thing like where the CIA was administering LSD to people, people to... and without their knowledge or consent to see what kind of mind control fuckery they could do. Just trying to get uh, information out of spies. Yeah. <laughs> so that was actually real. Who's there? Not so much the shit about Murkoff. <laughs> so you heard a dude. That means there's a guy over there. I'm sure he's not gonna be... Yeah, he's not gonna be very happy that you're in his shithole. So, the asshole turned off the generator, so you're down here trying to turn it back on. Is 
So before you push any buttons, make sure you check your surroundings. So you got lockers for hiding. You got a battery. Yeah. That's that. So as with most horror games, the second you pick up a key object or push something... Shit goes wrong. Yeah, so... <laughs> run away. Because that's like Resident Evil logic. You pick up a key and... You're fucked. Something. It's the dude breaking down the door. Because you closed it. Which will slow pursuers, so if you want to get away, you can slam doors in their faces. And sorry if I'm giving spoilers, but... <laughs> No, no, it's... I don't know if game mechanics are spoilers. Well, if they're unexplained, then it's kind of a bullshit thing. Wow, he's really on the town on that door. He still hasn't broken through it? He was breaking down two of them. Oh. Oh, right, he did have to go through two. Mean looking bad. Yeah, don't fuck with him. And he should be walking off now. But now, because he knocked down the door that was separating him from this area and the other one he was in, he's now going to be patrolling. So you have to get the other generator and flip a valve or something before you can even fuck with that thing in the middle. So, or spoilers, you got a lot more shit to do. I'm this is your shit. Go back the way you came. So, uh, let's, let's just do one loop and then uh, back up there. No, 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 I'm in the original way you came in here. Because he can't follow you back this way. So keep going, keep going. Maybe he should stop his pursuit. Yes, and I accidentally reloaded. Oh, fuck. Uh, I thought it was the big dude. Nope. Because the big dude's still here. Yeah, he was wandering around somewhere. But usually you'll hear him, because he's... Constantly muttering to himself. Yeah, about little pigs and whores. So... Yeah, this area's too bright to really need the night vision. Well, except for Bianca. So if you tiptoe, he shouldn't hear you, but it's really slow, because he can hear you splashing around in the water. But you still have to get the other button, and then you gotta go in there, too. But I'm not sure where he is. He could be in that room you were in. He could be down that hallway over there. He's not in there, though. No. That's another way you need to go. Another Another way, sorry. Oh, yep, he's right there. Oh, shit. But just sneak up here and hopefully just sit here and he won't notice you. Nope, he's coming. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a lot of this. Excuse me. <laughs> through. Yeah, he can't go through the whole thing at all, so you'd be seeing that pretty much blocks off all enemy places too. Especially with that guy. I didn't actually think he jumped over the, the table, but I was wrong. I think you can actually hide under those tables too, and if they don't notice him, they jump right over and then you can go the other way. You can hide under the desk. And there are beds and other stuff that you can hide under too. Still playing the pursuit, so. Oh, is the music still going? Yeah, oh, it stopped. Yeah. I can't hear any of the game audio, so. I can offer you this uh, other headphone. Yeah, it's fine, you can keep it. Can I just sort of squeeze around? No, I have to. No, jump. it's not an actual table. Darn it. Uh, hit back and jump. Jump backwards. Huh. I guess you can use that to avoid attacks. Yeah. So that's telling you all the things you have to turn on. You've gotten one breaker, I think, or maybe one pump or something, I don't know. 
So you need to get two things and then one other thing. And usually you can see their eyes glowing when you've got the night vision on. So I mean, there's just something there. Oh, good. Okay, it's gonna go up there so you can sneak over. Yeah, that's another way you need to go eventually after you get this other. Um, I think he already knocked the door down. Yeah, it looks like he did. Yep. So you can't close that and use it to hide. But in this room, you've got... What? A bed to hide under, I think. <coughs> so right there you can hide. Look. Yep. So this is Atlas. <laughs> yeah. Hiding under bed simulator. Yep. I actually like these kind of survival horror games more than the ones where they give you a weapon. It's just fucking arsenal on your back. Yeah. Not that I don't like those ones, but these ones seem scarier to me. You think he would just turn it off? Yeah. But he doesn't, because he's stupid. Oh god, I thought he found you. <laughs> You a pretty tat. Okay, so if he's going into that other room, you're gonna want to try to uh, book it over there. Oh no, never mind. He might be coming back up this way. I'd back up even more. Yep, he's coming. to hide in and a bed to hide under. Don't hide in the same place more than once. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like the... Uh, oh, he's going in. He's breaking down that door so you can sneak past him. Nope, never mind. He found you. What was I going to say? Oh, it's like a hawking ground. Where if you abuse a spot too much, they'll get wise to you and it won't work anymore. Assuming if they lose the line of sight. Yeah, I'm not sure how long they can follow you or like where they know you are. I'm assuming it's based on noise, so if you're making a whole bunch of it by running, then. Gross. You're in a whole bunch of poop water. Ew. Or maybe it's drinking water. Maybe it's clean tap instead of sewage. Lights fucking everything up. So the guy's back to patrolling now. Come on. Come on, get up. He might also be, yeah, he's in there. Yep. He's hiding that corner. <laughs> Good job. Oops. It's an indie game. Yeah, so. say, to be fair, this is by a smaller company. It's not a triple A title or anything. Okay, so he's going that way. I think walking works too. It's not as good as crawling, but it's faster. I don't know if you want to risk it, but yeah. So. <laughs> Those two doors are connected. You already know that. Now we go back. Shit. Face. Pretty much. There is no health bar or nothing. You can only tell you're getting hurt because the screen starts going red and bloody. 
I swear. Essentially, we're going fear here. There's some unseen <laughs> evil force murdering people. Yes. Speaking of which, uh, I should probably play the fear in the uh, DLCs with it at some point. They're quite good. Yeah, we can do that. All I remember about fear is that there's a fat guy with chips. <laughs> He's the most memorable character. <laughs> Everyone's favorite character. He was the most memorable to me. Oh, God. Speaking of God, there's a lot of crucifixes around everything. Yeah, well, that crazy asshole who keeps fucking with you. He's a quote-unquote priest. And he wants you to witness all this shit, so... 
I got a note. Rest in peace. The nine, uh, here follow this. Well, I guess before we continue, this will be a good place to leave off, and when we come back, we'll read that note, and then we'll, we'll continue. Yeah, so this is actually quite good. Yeah, I love this game. All right, well, hope to see you next time. Bye. See ya.